Okay, Jimin? What? <laughs> Yo. That boy, boys. That's crazy. That was crazy. I, I honestly felt like it wasn't. It felt so good. It, it felt like it wasn't real at a point in time. Like, I felt like, at least in the beginning, like, it was just like, yo, like, what? Like, like I said, the he the headphones, bro. I don't know. It's kind of like you starting to hear things that you kind of just like, it's like you need to hear in your ears. Like, you have to hear it. But, I, and honestly, I, I'm going to cut Kate and all, but I think every song should just be heard in your ears. Like, like really, like, it's just, it's a better experience, like, overall. But go ahead. It, I mean, <laughs> It was just like the way it came in, it was like, I honestly kind of want to know like, what is, like how, how did they get to these? Cause I feel like every, every artist within BTS is kind of going through this type of phase, but it's like, I feel like we miss so much on BTS. It's like, how did we get here? Like, how do we get to this sound? How do we get to this type of like music that they're producing? Cause everything to me with what they do at least has some type of like reason behind it. I mean, and it could just be like a solo project, but even still, I'm just like, yo, like, damn, we got a lot to cover, bro. Like, this, it's overwhelming. It, it is very overwhelming, and it's definitely good to hear. It's good to hear him again. Um, I think, I think, where, where, like, to piggyback off what you were talking about, as far as you know, where did they get to this sound? I think it's every. I think it's no different from me and you. I think it's everybody's individuality kind of speaking to them and, and going their own way. And I could I could be completely wrong. I'm only basing this I'm only basing this off of J Hope and Chicken Noodle Soup. And I I, I feel like J Hope did that because that was something he always wanted to do. But even even like thinking about more recently what we had reacted to J Hope and Arson and just like the whole like where where like it to me it evolved from something and but it's just like we miss so much mm -hmm. and it's kind of like to fill in the pieces it'd be nice to like it would be dope to be like oh okay like that's where it came from that's where the sound originated from or like i said or like you said it could just be something that's like it's just it just something that they chose to do you know it could be random yeah and i like i said i could be wrong but i i i, I feel like it comes it stems down from something that's in them in them to be like okay I like this type of sound, and I want to give my version of it. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know, I want to give my version of Chicken Noodle Soup. I want to give my my version of you know. I don't want to say Michael Jackson's Thriller, but it, it just gave me that vibe to where it was like back in that time era, like to where it was like. Did it seem like something that could be played back then too? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I mean, even I even I was tripping. I mean, no. I mean, even the clothes they were wearing. I just like how it just was so now. Like it was just so like modern, and I like I just like the fact that it just like. Even the beat when it came on, it wasn't like I didn't expect it to go that way. I, I, I don't get me wrong. I love the beat when it first just, you just hear like the I can't explain what it was, but like you just hear that like that beat just and I can just you saw me in the in the beginning of the video just kind of like bobbing my head, but then when the rest of the beat plays, it's like okay, this is where we're going with this. This is the more popish like thriller like back in that day. I want to say seventies. I could be wrong. I, I think it's seventies because. I think that it's like we're going back, back. Like, like a modern '70s. Yes, like, okay. like it just sound. It sounded so good, you know. Yeah. It sounded so good, and I actually want to hear this in my car. Just like I feel like that's like one of those like late night pulling up to like a a, a burger spot, like with the top down, and stuff. or even just the the uh, one of the football jackets on or something. I yeah. don't know. Like, like the movie theater type, like drive in, like type of thing, like those type of deals. But you know, I mean, they're just basically the same vibe. And as far as like. As far as what we probably should have made the video, we we probably should have made a, a version of it. Like, no, I don't know what Caden's trying to say. <laughs> but as, as I mean, we, don't you know how we like we can like put a whole uh, I want to say like video together based on how we feel the song is coming off to us. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, not like for real, but just like uh -huh. I, I feel like we piecing it together now. It's like. Mm -hmm. Kind of slowly oh, you mean like that? Type yeah, of yeah, yeah. Like, not like what they do on that level. Uh -huh. but I was also trying to get like the concept of because it's like you try to go off the title, like uh -huh. it's like, or just just hearing them in general. You try to go off, you know what? Because I want to I want to say like sometimes to me it's like a first listen to where you hear this in the car and you don't have subtitles, so it's like, what can you piece together from hearing you know 
the Korean language and also from just hearing bits and pieces of some English I swear I heard in the yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it, trying to trying to base it off that like. I don't know. I want to say he was in like his own head, like to where it was kind of like he was going through. But then, but then he had the what's the name? I'm like, so what the hell is that? The stuff that was on his hands, you see it coming down the lockers, but it's like oh, that'll do. <laughs> it's like nah, but um, <laughs> but even even the girl like that was in the in the video, it's kind of like everybody was doing something except for him. But it's kind of like I don't know if the girl had like I feel like every. I always catch some video, I don't know if it's BTS or just K-pop in general, where they always walking through and it's like they brushing past people. Uh-huh. Uh, who, who else did that? I uh, think Sugar? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's he's it. like, he's yeah. brushing past me. I feel like everybody do it in some different uh -huh. type of video. I don't know, I could be wrong. It could just be a, a hunch. But I don't know. I just felt like that was weird to see that again. Not weird, but just like, you know. But honestly, I 100% I love this video from him. I thought it was dope from start to finish like literally like i was smiling from cheek to cheek especially hearing in the headphones it just made me like like wow this is like a unique sound that like just gives a very like 70-ish like you know modern I mean? k-pop feel like, you know what i was getting mad at too the fact that we like like if y'all don't think that like I, i'm not about to sit here and try to prove that we actually listen to this stuff outside of just watching it on in a youtube video but we have our own playlist that consists of k-pop and it's like we was getting to the point where it's like yo i need some more songs bro like it's mm -hmm. kind of like all right you're hearing the same thing over and over again and granted like i'm i would listen to it like i gotta play k-pop at least like a couple times out the week just hit the playlist but at the same time it's like yo i need some more bro mm -hmm. and it's like all right it's going on there like it's going on there but shout outs to Jim and Man. Shout outs to the solo projects that they all doing. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. Shout out to Jim and shout out to BTS. I feel like if you were to close your eyes and not watch the video, the sound just alone to me is like, yes, it's going on the playlist. Like, yeah, for sure. So definitely very popish. Definitely very now. So keep it up, BTS. Keep vocals, it up, Jim and Man. Bro. Huh? If I had them vocals. Yeah, I mean, it, I just think it's amazing how everybody's mm -hmm. unique and. I'm gonna say this is gonna be my last thing and this is why i push for anybody to do follow what you you believe in like don't let anybody tell you not to do that and i'm not saying that to be cliche i'm saying it to say like this type of stuff is what we need like we need people that are pushed the boundaries as far as their vocals and just sounding different or bringing like a unique like sound to just music in general not yeah. you know not even a different not even a certain genre just to music in general like right. and, and a collaboration of just music if everybody like we need that like yeah. we need the billy Oshes, we need the bts's we need the stray kids we need like all these different sounds like whitney houston like all oh, that's like it, like don't like don't not follow your dreams man. and it's so much i feel like more so now than ever artists everywhere so it's not like people not doing it so that's what's up even if you have a unique sound that just you feel like doesn't sound like anybody else's to where you're like ah, i might not think this might go with do it because you know it might be something that stands away from everybody else yeah, like exactly so with that being said, guys, dope video as usual, guys. Please give us some more Jimin hits or just BTS or just hit reactions in general. I so, think he got more songs on the solo project, so we're going to have to just check that out in general. Definitely. Drop them in the comments below, guys. Again, thanks again for, you know, checking us out. But we're going to go ahead and get on out of here as usual, guys. Once again, my name is Kogan. It's your boy, Kane. And, and that's Skull Pack React. <laughs> Do it in the world. A bunch of weird shit. I don't think it's weird. <laughs> and going on with the beat with the song and shit. Keep talking this song. mic all day. <laughs> <laughs> if I had if it, it had balls, I would tickle it. <laughs>